Welcome back to Living 808. He is the star of one of the most watched game shows in the world for over four decades now. He's received numerous daytime Emmy Awards and nominated for countless others. And the host of Wheel of Fortune is going to be in town to join us once again with his good friend Joe Moore on a local stage. And he joins us right now live here on Living 808 to talk all about it. Mr. Pat Sajak now. Aloha, you guys. So happy to have you. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Always great to be in Hawaii, even if it's uh, virtually. Even virtually. And you are going to be here in person. So excited to have you and the family here. But but tell us where you are right now, because I hear you're on vacation. Actually, we're in another uh, a beautiful spot in the country, which is in Florida, in central Florida. And uh, it's it's gorgeous here. There's, there's no humidity. It's 75 degrees. It'll be a little different in a few months, but right now it feels great. Well, perfect, because in a few months, we're going to get you out of the very humid Florida in the summertime and bring you over to Hawaii. Now, we're going to talk about that coming up in just a bit, but we have to talk about the big milestone you just reached. Just last week, you celebrated a huge anniversary. Can you talk about that? Well, the show's been on forever. I mean, the show actually went on almost 50 years ago, 48 years ago, uh, and you guys were carrying us even then. Uh, we were a daytime show at the time, and, and that's even before my time. A guy named Chuck Woolery was hosting it. He left after seven years. Then I came on in 1981 late in 81 and then two years later we started this nighttime version which has been a huge hit since then and here we are on the nighttime show in our 40th year so it's 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 a little nutty but here we are we're just playing hangman and people seem to like it yeah well people love it and especially here in the islands i feel like wheel of fortune is the staple of everyone's household so we love seeing you of course right after joe moore you guys are on uh, I know, I know. I wish I had a better lead in, but that's the best we can do. <laughs> um, honestly, it's the best you get in Hawaii. I'll tell you that, but I know you're just joking around. No, Joe, as as you know, Kelly, and I think yes. most people know by now, Joe and I, Joe and I go back longer than I've been on Wheel. I've known Joan uh, since our Vietnam days, and uh, it's been a delight. And that's why we do the plays. It's a it's a great chance to work with him, uh, and we get a kick out of doing that. And we you know we raise a lot of money for Hawaii Theater, which by the way is a gorgeous theater. And and all of you in Hawaii should be really proud of it. Uh, and and we have. You know, Joe and I don't get paid for it. Do we do it because we like it? We do it to raise money for the theater. We've raised uh, hundreds of thousands over the years doing our plays. And, you know, theaters have taken quite a hit the last couple of years. And so we hope to make this the biggest year ever. We're doing, you don't mind my getting into the commercial here. No, we're let's doing, do it, uh, yes. We're doing Sunshine Boys, uh, I, I believe opening night's June 15th. So it's a ways off. But honestly, if uh, it's a great place to support if you haven't been there you should go if you've been there you should get back because they need your support so you should get on the hawaii theater website and order tickets early and get some good seats uh and it makes joe very happy because he looks at the box office figures every day and he's easily depressed if no one's buying <laughs> we're seeing on screen right now I mean not only are you and Joe gonna be in this play but also Joe's son Bryce Moore how cool has that been you know I we've known Bryce well we know Bryce when he was born right. and we've been around him and have seen him growing up and, and great to see him doing such good work with you guys and uh that's exciting and as a father I I understand you know my daughter Maggie is now working on our show mm -hmm. uh, she's the social correspondent and she's sat in for Van a few times and she's doing some things with us on the show and it's a great feeling as a dad so I know I know the pride that Joe must feel but we've done some rehearsing of the play and and uh, Bryce Bryce is great. He's really going to be good. So we, we had planned to do this show right at the beginning of COVID. And, you know, that was two weeks to flatten the curve and mm -hmm. that didn't quite happen. And so we we learned the play. But a play is not something you can just put in drawer and then forget about it and do it two years later. You have to keep going through it so it stays in your head. So after about three years now, I'm really tired of this play and I really <laughs> want to do it on the stage and just get it out of my head forever. Yes. Well, I <laughs> it's mean, really fun. It's been a long time coming. I mean, you guys, you're, you're there's no chance you're going to be messing up those lines. You got it down. No, well, I, well, you I got hope the not staging. now. Now you really. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, the first year, obviously, with COVID, we had to stop, and then we'd hoped to do it last year, but right. there was still enough concern, and and you know, it's a comedy, and you don't want to do a show in front of you know 40 people uh, who are you know, worried about coming out and all that. So mm -hmm. it's a comedy. You want people to feel free and and have a good time. So we thought we'll put it off another year and do it this year, and we're finally, I think, going to get to do it again starting June 15th at Hawaii Theater. And please come out. Did I mention you should buy tickets and support the theater? I forgot. Did I mention that, Kelly? I don't know if you 
mention it, but I think we should definitely talk about this because you guys, we should. I had tickets to the first show. I had it when it was about to come back. And now you guys, third time's the charm. It is actually happening. Make sure you see the Sunshine Boys and you can get tickets at thehawaiitheater.com. Right there, hawaiitheater.com. It's gonna be running June 15th to the 25th. So coming up in the summertime, it's a benefit for the theater. Of course, tickets are all going towards a great cause. And you get to see the Pat Sajak and Joe Moore. Yeah, and you know, and you know, it's it's real po not me, but it's real possible it'll be our last play together because honestly, it's hard to find plays we're written for p guys of our age. You know, so uh, we've been wanting to do Sunshine Boys for a while. We are now age appropriate, sadly, for Sunshine Boys. <laughs> uh, but um, so you know, it's one of these days we'll probably say that's an and this could so this could be our play swan song too. So we hope people will come out and enjoy that aspect of it as well. Oh, that makes me sad to hear though, Pat. Oh. Okay, but I mean, obviously, even more incentive for you guys. This may be his last time on stage. I feel like people, though, will write a play specifically for you and Joe to make <laughs> this continue happening, though. This yeah, can't I'm be not the sure. End. All I'm right. not, well, with that we'll we'll see about that. But again, it's hard it's hard to find plays for you know octogenarians, and we're getting there. <laughs> I don't know about that, but again, the living legend. I mean, you have worked in TV for decades on stage. You're just such a star, as per usual. And you guys, again, you can see him in person. So make sure you head to the website, get those tickets. But thanks so much, Pat, for joining us on the show. Really appreciate it. Hey, thanks, Kelly. It was a pleasure. Uh, take care and continued uh, success to you, too. Thank you. You, too. And, of course, your daughter, because, you guys, if you haven't seen on Wheel of Fortune, you got to check it out. It's so fun to see on KHON, Joe Moore and Bryce Moore. And then, of course, seeing Pat and his daughter. It's Maddie, right? Maggie? Maggie, Maggie, who actually celebrated a birthday yesterday. So <laughs> we've had a good time here in Florida celebrating and all that. And, uh, and yeah, check her out. She's on all the, you know, the Instagrams and all that stuff with Wheel News and uh, Maggie Sajak. Yeah. Perfect. Make sure you check out Maggie. Awesome. Thanks so much, Pat, for joining us. Thanks, guys. All right. Bye. Coming up next, we're going to have a full roundup of all the events happening around the 808 state.